into your presence as the family of Cathedral Church. Father God, as we are going to meditate on your word, give us the spirit so that we may meditate on your word according to your holy will. Be our guide and guide us so that we may fulfill your will into our lives. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we all know On Sunday after Christmas, the feast of the Holy Family is celebrated all over the world. And this day is dedicated to honor and ref reflect upon the family life of Jesus, Mary, and Saint Joseph. And this day started to celebrate in 17 century and after that this day was added in the church calendar in 19th century onward this day is celebrated with great reverence and with great respect in the church. And this day gives us an insight that as family, how we should live our life. And this day also convinces us to ponder on the life of Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph, how they used to live their life as a family. And when I was preparing myself for today's reflection, and I was thinking that this is the tradition of the church. The Holy Family name has been given to the hospitals. And I know there is a hospital in Karachi, Holy Family Hospital. In Rambal Pindi Holy Family Hospital. And this name is also given to the hospices, like St. Joseph Hospice. And I think and I reckon that this name is given to the hospitals because. In the hospitals, wounded people are treated. People are cared in the hospitals. And also children 
old people and vulnerable people they are treated to live a beautiful life in the society and you all know that the family is the basic unit of every society and i think in the family young people old people husband wife parents they must be treated with love care and respect and holy family is a model for all of us and they create balance to the love of god and to the love of neighbor and when i say neighbor it means the person who lives with you who 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 is in need and you know when angel gabriel comes to mary and he says to her you will conceive in your womb and you will give birth to a son first she becomes hesitant but after sometimes she says i am the servant of the lord let it be done to me according to your word and this was her yes to her heavenly father but after taking this word into her life she doesn't stay at doesn't stop at her home she goes to her cousin elizabeth because she was in her old days and she was needy and in this way mary create mary creates a balance in love of god and in love of her neighbor and the second person of that family is joseph and it is written in the gospel of st matthew after arousing from his sleep he does what he is commanded by the angel and he fulfills the will of god into his life and he also pays respect to mary and saves jesus and he used to work in his workshop and he used to fulfill their household needs and in this way joseph creates a balance between the love of god and love of his neighbor and the third member of this family is jesus christ in his young age and you know that 
we read the mention of Jesus Christ in the age of 12 years he was in the temple and after that there is a gap of 18 years at the age of 30 he comes for baptism from John the Baptist from 12 to 30 there is a gap of 18 years and here is a question for all of us where was Jesus in this age in this gap and the history tells us he worked at Joseph's workshop and this is Jesus life that when he was in this body he used to work physically and after that when he was in the garden of Gethsemane and where he says to his heavenly father O oh my father if it is possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as I will but as you will and he also says that my food is to fulfill the will of my father who sent me so my dear brothers and sisters when Jesus Christ was on this earth he created a balance in the love of God and to the love of neighbor so this morning I want to give you a challenge if we want to live a Christian life if we want a personal growth of our families and ourselves we need to create a balance in physicality and in spirituality and if we only love if we have only love for God we pray we come to the church and sometimes this approach leads us toward self-righteousness and we think that we are okay then and the other people are bad and the second approach is we only help people we don't bother bother to come to the church we don't participate in the sacraments and this approach leads us toward humanism and the third approach is we do not help people we do not come to the church and this approach leads us toward self-centeredness we only think for ourselves and the fourth approach is good approach and we need to follow that approach and that is 
to love your God with all your heart, with all your mind. And second is, love your neighbor as yourself. So we need to create a balance. And in this way, we can make our Heavenly Father happy. So my dear brothers and sisters, Holy Family is the model for all of us. They bring their children to the temple to present him to the Lord. And in this way, as Jew, they follow the law faithfully. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we have our children in our families, this is our responsibility as parents to bring them to the church so that they may participate and they take the sacrament of the Holy Communion. They may participate in singing they may participate in reading. And this is our responsibility. And when they bring Jesus in the temple, he was consecrated by the Simeon for a special purpose. And in the same way, at the time of baptism, we give a sacrament and we make a child a part of the congregation. And it is written in the book of Joshua, consecrate yourself to the Lord and you will see an amazing thing tomorrow. So my dear brothers and sisters, if we want to see amazing thing, marvelous things in the life of our children, in the life of our families, we need to consecrate them for the Lord. We need to follow the example of St. Joseph and Mary. They bring his, their child to the temple. And Jesus is taught according to the law and according to their rule and regulations he used to attend the synagogues and he used to go to the temple and this was his training. So my dear brothers and sisters, Christian family is the place where children are trained, where children are formed. So this day gives us a motivation that we need to trust our families into the hands of the Lord and he will, the blessings will be given to our families according to his perfect and opportune time.
May God bless us all through his word. Amen. Father God, guide us so that we may follow the footsteps of the Holy Family in Jesus' precious name.